Good evening. Today my guest is Eleni Teokarius, a former member of European Parliament from Cyprus, and we are going to discuss the prospects of Artsakh-Cyprus relations in the upcoming minutes. Good evening and welcome to Artsakh TV. Good evening from Lefkosia, the capital of Cyprus. Uh, I greet you all all the people of Artsakh, Garbakh, Sin, as we used to say in the, in the past. Uh, and uh, I wish you are all well, and I'm ready to talk to you. I am very happy and proud to, to talk with you, Anush. So let's start at the very beginning. Uh, you came to Artsakh as a surgeon and volunteered in the hospital of Stepanaker during the First Karabakh War. Later, you dedicated your time, your efforts and career in politics to Artsakh people and vocalized the voice of Artsakh people in different European structures. So, why Artsakh? Well, uh, I came at the beginning of uh, the 19s as a volunteer um, surgeon, as uh, you said just before. And I left my heart over there. I came many times. I loved the people. Um, I was very proud of uh, fighting for the self-determination of the Atsahi people. Uh, I was working at the Magagan Hospital, the Children's Hospital. It was, I think it was the only one functioning those days um, with the military hospital. Uh, and uh, we came many times during the three uh, uh, years of the war, 1991-1994. Uh, I was very proud to work with the brave people of Artsakh, with all those warriors who were fighting for their freedom. I uh, had the experience of the epos, as we say in Greek, uh, of the Artsakhi people, and um, I wanted to, to live the same epos with my own people in Cyprus, living under the uh, occupation of uh, Turkey. Um, it was a very touching part of uh, my life. And as I said before, I left my heart there. I was so much impressed from um, uh, from the people of Artsakh and their uh, passion for liberty, for freedom, for self-determination, for getting uh, rid of the links um, of the Azeri occupation, that uh, I dedicated my life for, the, for this purpose. And uh, I, I, I am here, I'm still working on this uh, topic, either I'm not working as a surgeon anymore, but uh, as a politician, I'm still active. I spent uh, 10 years in the European Parliament, 10 years in the National Parliament. I was always uh, working for, uh, for Armenia and Artsakh. So, Mr. Harios, you have been a vocal supporter of recognition for Artsakh's uh, a right to self determination and raise this question at the European Parliament during uh, your years uh, in this uh, structure. And um, now, after the 44 day war, how this uh, question is seen in Europe? Well, uh, I, I cannot say how is the situation right now in the European Parliament. As you know, I was the, the chair, the president of the uh, uh, EU Armenia friendship group in the European Parliament. Then we were very active those days, organizing events almost uh, every two months, uh, inviting people from Armenia, from the diaspora, from Artsakh, um, to deliver speeches, to present events, to to fight for the recognition of the genocide, um, to 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 convince the people for the right of. Uh, um, the Armenians of Artsakh for, for self-determination, to explain to them the, the real story of the region, because all of them were thinking that it was a separatist movement, which is not correct, as you know. It was a, a, a fight for um, uh, freedom, for liberty. It was very successful. Many people became friends of uh, Artsakh. Many people came to Artsakh. Many people participated in our 
uh, events. Now, I, I, I've got the information that there was, uh, they voted last week, actually, or two weeks ago, for the destruction of the uh, heritage, the, uh, the, the cultural heritage of Artsakh, the destruction of churches and uh, monuments in the occupied areas of Artsakh. And this is what I know right now. Um, there is um, another Cypriot uh, chair of the committee uh, of the um, friendship group, and uh, I talked to him on the phone a few days ago, and we decided to come together to Artsakh. Uh, unfortunately, I faced, I was ready to come uh, a week ago or so, but, uh, you know, for some reasons out of my intention, I couldn't uh, arrange the, um, the, the trip to Artsakh, but I will do it as soon as possible. Um, I'm talking to the other colleagues of the, um, uh, former colleagues of the um, friendship group, and uh, we are trying to organize our, to, to get our uh, efforts together uh, in order to find a um, viable way of supporting Artsakh. So a year ago, uh, a friendship group with Artsakh formed in Cyprus, and um, uh, that, uh, this group, this friendship circle, included uh, members of the uh, Cypriot parliament, also pa politicians and public figures. We know about this. And after war, uh, the uh, Cypriot government provided humanitarian assistance to Artsakh people affected by the Azerbaijani aggression. So as a head of this uh, friendship circle, do you see possibilities for expanding ties uh, between Artsakh and Cyprus? As uh, I said many times, uh, we shall start with cultural um, ties, uh, ties between um, um, cities and uh, uh, municipalities. And this is what we are doing right now. Uh, our um, effort was uh, to start uh, strong links between the city of Strobolos and uh, the city of uh, Stepanakert. Um, but of course, after the war, uh, there is, there are many burdens on uh, on this effort. Uh, we will continue. We will never give up working right now to um, reorganize our uh, efforts, and I hope very soon we will have some good results. Um, I would like to tell you that on Friday, the 9th of April, we are planning a park in the center of Strovolos uh, dedicated to the heroes of uh, Artsakh, the recent war. Um, of course, we need, uh, we are going to plant the, the, the park, the trees in the park. Uh, we didn't get the decision of the municipal um, council yet, but I'm sure that we will get it and then we built up uh, an elegant monument dedicated to our heroes. Uh, we will invite the Armenians, or the Cypriot Armenians, to come and participate in, in, in this effort, and I will send you photos. Back in uh, October 2020, the Cypriot uh, uh, Parliament uh, issued a statement condemning the Azerbaijani aggression in Artsakh. Uh, the House of Representatives also condemned the uh, full support of Turkey uh, to this aggression and involvement uh, participation of paid mercenaries in Artsakh on the side of Azerbaijan. So what do you think uh, uh, about uh, the factor of Turkey in the broader context of Armenian-Greek relations? Turkey is an aggressive nation. You know that. Uh, especially this uh, paranoid uh, president they have right now, uh, who um, is trying to, to conquer the whole Mediterranean, the whole Caucasus, the whole Middle East, uh, and uh, is um, establishing military bases in the Persian Gulf in um, the Horn of Africa, in Adriatic Sea, in uh, Caucasus, everywhere. We have to face this um, reality and we have to, to, to establish uh, strong links between Armenia and Greece, Armenia and Cyprus in order to 
uh, confront the aggression of uh, Turkey. We know we condemned many times the participation of uh, missionaries and the Turks in, in the in the fight against the people of uh, Artsakh. Uh, there are very big questions which we didn't uh, get uh, for which we didn't get any answer. Many unsolved uh, problems which we need to clarify. We want to know more about um, the, the events in Artsakh and why we lost uh, that uh, war. Because at the beginning, I was convinced that we were going to enter Bagu, I tell you. And I know what this means to me because I am, there is a warrant for arrest against me from Azerbaijan. I am a wounded person everywhere. They, have, they can exercise there. They have effort to do it. They, they have uh, the force to do it, but uh, uh, I am here. I'm standing uh, among you. I am with you. Thank you so much for uh, your time. And it has been fascinating talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Anusha. Shnora Galuzio, Shnora Galuchun. And uh, greetings to all the Armenians, the brave Armenians of uh, um, Artsakh. And... Uh, as soon as possible, I will come there and see uh, and uh, bear witness uh, for the situation. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in Artsakh soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.